Thirty minutes ago, 6,000 British and American ships left ports in England bound for France. This is Normandy, the Allies' next step in liberating Europe. At 0600 hours, General Barton's men are going to hit the beach in small craft with no cover. Their survival depends on you. The Navy cannot supply fire support for the beach landing until a German battery of shore guns has been neutralized. The guns receive firing coordinates from an inland fortifications network. We must cripple enemy communications by destroying this key radar antenna. We must also disable this spotting tower. We take out the enemy's eyes and ears. They got no chance. S2 and S3 predict we'll encounter enemy armor in this operation. To that end, we're dropping M18 bundles near the DZ. Airborne, you are about to play a pivotal role in the downfall of Nazi oppression. Good luck.
Bitches!
Come on, Airborne! We gotta secure the rest of the battery! I'm going for it, Travis! Cover me! There is there!
Target has reinforced concrete casing. Request ATAP around. We'll adjust. Find some cover, boys. Round out! Fire mission complete. Repeat. Fire mission complete. All airborne units within the vicinity of Audubon. Assemble at coordinates Alpha 16 and clear remaining enemy troops from casemate. The Navy gets credit for that kill, huh? It's an officer.
Colonel Scott Webb, Commanding Officer. This is the after-action report for Operation Neptune, June 6th, 1944. Dropped behind enemy lines at dawn, suffered heavy losses, took all objectives. After Come securing on! the main battery, we pushed toward Utah, cleared all enemy gun positions. Allied forces now moving inland from the beaches. I have no doubt that history will remember the airborne on this day. Your acts of courage will be revered for generations to come. Hey Jimmy, you think this is our last flight? I sure hope so. Don't sound confident. One thing about the Nazis, they don't give up so 